All right, guys, welcome back for some more Snow Runner. Um, in today's episode, I'm going to start out by doing some <clears throat> relocating of trucks, I think. But the, the goal today is to complete this mission materials order, which I think we started last week. I've just got two trucks over here left over from delivering that lost container to this place. I think we had a trailer of metal beams over in the um, Smithville Dam. not on. Yep, so I'm going to bring this tr this scout and this truck back over to the... back over to Good Smithfield then. Oop. Hello. 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 Oh, I didn't, I didn't do, um, enter B because I've been playing a lot of farming simulator. So in that game, enter is to start and stop the truck. And I've yeah. been, I've been so used to playing that, that I thought I might have issues with the controls in this game. But no. farming. Yeah. Because in this game it's B, but in Farming Simulator it's Enter to start the truck. Oh. I'm a clicker. How do you click to start the truck in this? F. Activate the menu. Push forward. I press W to push forward to turn the truck on. But oh, yeah, you can yeah. press, you can go into the menu and go start truck, that's what I usually do. That's right, but in um, Farming Simulator you can't start the truck by pressing, by pushing forward. Uh, add brakes on. You have to press enter. <coughs> oh, I think the add brake has already finished. Oh, I'm doing the wrong thing here. You have that on a low, is it? A low saddle? I think so. Can I? And then you're going to tow brake. the, you're going to tow the scout. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, I always forget to do that. Okay. Oh, I'm just asking to see if you've got it all under control. <laughs> Need me to drive something, but that's alright. You're good. Yeah, it should be okay. Oh, no! This is that doesn't a, sound like it's okay. This is not a good idea. Oh, the Fleet Star is here. What's the Fleet Star doing there? I guess I'm driving the Fleet Star. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do drive the Fleet Star? No, oh, why not? not? You. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, Spider Man did. Oh, the Fleet Star has a trailer plus. Am I hauling this? Red one? What's the red one? We're just going to. We're doing materials order in Smithfield Dam. So we have to take cons two consumables and one metal beams to uh, different places. The Fleet Star has I the last time concrete blocks and oh, a yeah, yeah. trailer with bricks in it. Yeah, let's just bring. We were just bringing those back to the other map. Oh, we're bringing them? Okay. But I think the um, thing that you were doing was taking the metal beams trailer to the... Oh, that was a really dumb thing to do. The metal beams trailer on the other map? Yep. Yeah, we can... I oh, will get there. We'll just we'll organise this map first if you want.
Gut. This fleet star is really laboring with all of this cargo. Mm. Yeah, these are concrete blocks. Not the big slab. Yeah, I think you already delivered some concrete slabs. Thank you. That I put it in. Oh, dude, I just smashed. The Whoa, thing. I just rammed the Ford. <laughs> I just rammed the Scout. This is going great. I'm down 25% engine damage and about 10% suspension. suspension. <laughs> What are you getting? The fuel trailer and the scout. There is another red trailer here, I think with more bricks on it. Nice. <coughs> Do you want... <laughs> there's so many bricks here, man. Do you want another bricks or do you want a box of spare parts? Yes, yeah, spare parts. They're not, the me they're not the vehicle spare parts though, they're just the mechanical spare parts. Which one do you want? Because I could, I've got one more slot on the Not trailer than I'm towing. Service spare parts. <coughs> they service spare parts. Did you say you got concrete blocks? I don't know. How do you tell what this is? Because Island Lake needs concrete blocks. All oh, right, and Smithfield Dam needs service spare parts. Okay, so not bricks. No, uh, I don't have any missions for bricks at the moment. Mm. 
Okay, I'm just going to take whatever this crate is. Logs. Aid. Logs. 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 How come no one needs bricks? Where is the bricks meant to go? Oversized uh -huh. cargo. Cement. Fuel consumable, service spare parts, wood planks, fuel consumable, concrete blocks. Vehicle spare uh -huh. parts, fuel, metal beams, concrete slab. No, no one needs bricks on this, in this map. This map or the next map? Excuse me. Dusky, Dyson Diesel, Husky Forwarding, or and Steel River Township. No one needs bricks. Mm-hmm. And that's all the... That's this whole map area, isn't it? So what do you do with the bricks? Delete them. Oh, wasted. Yep. drive them to Alaska. He can't. <laughs> I'm guessing you already knew that. The general consensus is don't buy it. Do as much as you can without buying trailers. Mm, because what? in hardcore mode, you can't sell them. In normal mode, you can sell them back to the vendor. So you can buy them here and then just sell them before you leave. Mm. But in hardcore, they're a waste of money because you can't take them with you. There are some that you, like there's, I think there's one trailer that you need. I think you need the logging, the logging attachment, the logging trailer, yeah. and that's it to do the long logs. And I think that's all you should need. You should be able to do everything without buying additional trailers. And I think I bought trailers. I can't remember which one I bought. Seem to be doing all right, cash wise. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Wow, these trailers are really heavy. <coughs> really heavy. Man, I remember coming through this area on my first playthrough. I got stuck in the water here. I remember saying it in a previous stream, but you can never get those noob days back. No. <laughs> Gone forever. That's what that... I, I, look, I was reading a list of games that you should play for the first time. Oh, really? Yeah, and that's where Outer Wilds was recommended. Because you've got all that exploration and stuff in the outer wilds, mm -hmm. where you'll never, once you've done it, once you know where all this stuff is, and have experienced all the play, play time, all the fun, all the stuff to do, and exploring all the planets, you'll never get that sense of exploration back. Oh, 
right, we got that thing out of there. Now I'm going to go back and get the scout. You know, it probably would have been cheaper fuel-wise if I just bought these blocks over there. Yeah. But you need the trailer. Do I? What for? Missions. Oh yeah, see, this would have flooded the car before if I didn't have the snorkel. What truck are you using? Um, the... my favourite. GMC? Yeah. I only brought the GMC over here to refuel the Scout, I think. Because I ran out of fuel. I oh, no, because I needed a truck to pull the truck and container. Well, oh, the white is still here. Where's the truck that has the trailer on it that I pulled the container with? I don't know, but the um, Fleet Star just went to the other map. Well, it's very foggy over here. My stream, my stream was a silent stream. Yeah, I saw someone commented and said, "Where's yeah, the Cages? Cages came up. <laughs> I think he's like, "Where's your video?" Last time, he's like, yeah. "Where's your video gone?" And now my mic is gone. Soon there'll just be a blank stream and the game sound. <laughs> my my Twitch is slowly fading away. Oh, this needs a low plus. This truck. It hasn't got the low, low gears. The low gears extension. What's it called? Snow Runner? Is it Snow Runner? I think it's Snow Runner. This game? Yeah. I know there's no, no snow, the, but that's what it's about. No, called. the gear thing. Nothing but snow in the bum fluff stream. Well, I was reading ages ago, and I think we discussed it as well. They were saying that the, the forums were saying that you don't want to leave the mud because the snow is a nightmare. I love it. Hmm. It's so good. That's why people bought the game, because it's called Snow Runner. Yeah, but they say once you go to the snow, snow areas, it's a pain in the ass. There's only two maps out of ten or whatever there is, so I'm sure they'll survive. I think they said it like it's it's masochistic to do the snow maps because it's just so much labor for a little reward or something. But I was like, this is an awesome reward. It's so fun. This these trailers are so heavy, dude. Oh, mine's fine. My the fuel trailer with the scout is great. My fleet star took so long to get up that hill. Or this fleet star, not my fleet star. Need the new engine attachment. Okay, so we have a trailer with something and something on it. Do 
vehicles found. Oh, I can't see your. Um. <coughs> oh wait, is this your one? Upgrades unlocked. Ah, six. You're missing six upgrades. Okay. So it is your map here. You found all the vehicles. You need another ten watchtowers. In this, uh, Michigan. In, in, yeah, the entire Michigan, um, areas. Like all four maps. Wait, you've found eight of eight vehicles. But you haven't found the... Probably found it, haven't rescued it. No, no, it's in, that's in the next map. Oh, okay. It's in Island Lake. Island Lake isn't even open yet. The vehicle is there. The bus. What was it? The really long, stupidly long thing that can't oh, turn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it actually goes alright. As much flack as I give it. You need the K700. You haven't found that one. I can't remember what it's called now. Bison? It's some animal. What? Steer. The duck. Twin steer? The twin steer, that's it. I think it's a white as well. Maybe. But there's even one here that hasn't been rescued. Yeah. The best truck in the game. Are you going to use that one? Yeah. Oh, but you've discovered this one. The International Transtar 4070. Yeah. Oh, and you're going to use that one? Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. It would be an upgrade from the GMC. Oh, the disgusting truck. I remember driving across the beach with it, it was fine. On on the mud runner? Yep. Yuck. Well, get it, repair it, and see how you go with it. Upgrade it. Uh-huh. Never drive anything else. As of, what's that? Ass of. It's Russian, not American. Um, there's a curtain side trailer up near the watch near the radio tower. So it's probably Azov. I like the Azov. The no. Azov is the best truck. I only said it like that because I like to make rude, vulgar language oh, okay. out of names. It's an innuendo, not an American accent. Yeah, there's an innuendo. In your endo. Like Pandasia. Pandasia. Pandaria? I'm trying to think of. I'm trying to think of derogatory negative terms about blizzards. Alien. Oh. That's what basically what it is. <laughs> Paleo my my time in Paleo. Ew, my time in Porsche. I don't mention oh, Porsche. it on this channel. The same as Paleo, man. We played it, we hated it. Yeah, but Paleo is the same shit. We as in me. I saw sir. In my recommended channels on Twitch, it came up with someone playing My Time at Sandrock, and I was like, mm. Oh, was same thing, isn't it? I was thinking about going onto their channel and saying, Why is this game enjoyable? Why are you playing this game? I need to know. And why am I getting suggested to watch it? Because well, I, I just, hate this game. I just don't get it. Because apparently, My Time at um, Porsche is a great game. You should play it. It's so fun. And I played it, yeah. and I was like, I don't understand. 
I gave Isn't it, it relationships? A, I gave it a good go. God, Isn't it like Stargy Valley? Not, not very far. I was still in the startup area. Um, yeah, it's build, make relationships with townsfolk, collect resources, have an energy meter, repair your house. I just it never, never um, caught my interest. I'm so antisocial, IRL. Why would I want to do that in a game? <laughs> That's right. Well, I didn't talk to him. I didn't build relationships with people. Same as in um, Stardew Valley. Uh -huh. I was a loner farm worker. And everyone in town used to say, Oh, that guy that lives on the farm, he never comes and joins any of our activities. They, they did not. <laughs> That's what they said behind my back. They never said it to my face. What do you smoke? Someone in chat no, said no, you, you smoke, smoke them. them. I forgot. It was something that I was looking at in Subnautica. The fish? And I said, oh, I think I said, what do I do with these things? Oh, was it the triops? Because I said, I'm going to get rid of the triops. I don't know. Do you, do you have a smoker in Subnautica? Uh, I don't know. No, you don't. You only have salt. What is it called when you salt them? Dried fish. Yeah. Dried and cooked. Uh, yeah, it's like a jerky. Yeah, I think, I think Brittany B was making a joke, but I I missed it because I was busy trying to do whatever I was doing. Oh. Uh. And then I asked later. I was like, wait, I forgot what is smoking them, but I think Brittany B had left by then. Oh, you're still on the other map. I still can't refill this thing. Come I on. I was going what through are you mud. Doing? TBF. I'm just like chilling on the map. Too pro. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, we have to bring that repair trailer down to get the trans star out. You, I better come and get the white. Alrighty then. Because the white is still there as well. Oh, you're only at the fuel station. You haven't even gone through town yet. Yeah, but I'm in the GMC, so this thing's like that a sucks. rocket on the blacktop. Oh. Okay, I've got the white. Does anything else need to come with the white? A trailer? There's a flatbed semi here. I don't think... Sure. Oh, I can get it, actually. I've got, for some reason, I have a... Um, saddle low. A saddle low. Have we got the metal beams and consumables? What's that? In a trailer? Yeah, it's at the there's it's at the quarry. It's with the Kodiak. Okay. Um, it's at the quarry next to a scout that the scout fuel trailer, but I can't refuel it because the host of the session is on another map. Screwing around in black rock, a black black hope. Yeah, black rock. Shit. I just did 47 de Oh my goodness, I need a repair. Is there a repair thing here? Is it out? No? Oh, unless there's one that I haven't no, found. No, my engine, my engine just got shredded by an impact. <clears throat> unless there's one around that I have never found. Well, there's nothing at the center... There's nothing at the center island. Oh, you know where there's going to be one? Yep. It's all the way back at the garage. On on, Smith, on um, this map? Black River? Yeah, it's all the way at the garage. Oh, off you go then. I can't. I'm not going to make it. This is a 41% fuel. My engine is busted. Oh, do you want me to You're going to you're gonna have to go there? back there and get it. You might have to go back there and get it. With the GMC. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, okay. Well, I'm turning around. Well, I can't, drive, I can't drive down there because I'll use... Just drop all of that and just take the GMC down. Um, I will use up 
twice as much fuel trying to go down there and back, so it might, you might as well just go and get it. Okie then. And I shouldn't have run into that fence. <laughs> it must have already been damaged. I mean, there's a trailer store right here, we could just buy one. Oh no, that's a waste of money apparently, in hard mode. Well, money. you can't take it, but the thing is, it gives you free fuel. That's right, I'm coming to get the other trailer. Do you know what they said in normal mode that was a cheap way of refueling your trucks? Sell it and buy a new one? Yeah. Because you get it back for the same because price. Because he's... yeah, that's right. But there's so much free fuel on the map. I think I've only refueled at a petrol station maybe twice. And that was just because I was too lazy to go and get the petrol trailer. Or you get caught. In a in a bad spot. Sorry, it's all the way at the garage. Yay! It's alright. It's fun. Nice drive. There yeah. looks like there's a con a shipping container there as well. But it could it could just be a stacked shipping container that's got nothing in it. Yeah, I think it's just cont a container on a container. There's two of them. Um, there's a road that is in the darkness here. Do you reckon there's anything else oh, around? Jeevers, I forgot to refuel. Oh. There's a... If you turn left, oh, you mean in the tank? What? You mean out mm. of the tank? Is there going to be fuel in that trailer that I'm going to get? No, it's only a repair van. No, well, I can't do that. I've got to refuel first. Are you going to get it out of the trailer? Yep. Well, you're having a great stream there. Sorry, that was my <laughs> fault because I ran into a fence. No, I was thinking about it and I was like, oh, I've got to refuel. Oh, it's okay, I've got a fuel trailer with me. Oh, and you didn't bring it. But I didn't do it. I didn't do it because I was like, oh, I've got to go rescue. Leave the trailer. Everyone, this is Black River. On the right, you can see for the third time. On the right, you can see a lumber mill down the hill. That's where all, most of the lumber comes from for this region. And don't worry, we will see it again on the way back, and then again on the way back. <laughs> if you missed it, don't worry, you'll see it I'd, again. Plenty I drove along for photos. I drove off road, up a river and down the end of the river and there was an upgrade and I didn't even know that it was there in your game so, yeah so how much more if you just drove off road here and just went up like one of the ri rivers would there would there be secret upgrades around there probably this game is great for exploration rewarding but how come nobody knows it? And how come when you press F4, all of the Black River ones have been found? Because they're secret ones, you don't have to find them. I guess. I'm gonna look it up. Goodness, I was all the way at the top of the hill. There's, yeah, there's a website. There's a whole, like, really well done website for SnowRunner info. MapRunner, I think it might be called? Yeah, I found MapRunner. There's a wolf over there? Alright, so there's nothing at this little lake here. Okay. Oh, five liters! Oh, 
Oh no, I'm not gonna make it back to the fuel trailer. No, really? <laughs> That's it. I have to ferry it with the scout. I don't know what the wolves are on this map. What are the wolves? I don't know. Wolf. What's that? I don't know. Not all of these, um... ...ones must be done. Oh, well, now what? Uh, I was I pressed V and then clicked on recover instead of refuel. Whoa! Ooh! Yeah, I get some water. Have you got water there? Yep. I'm up to four four thirty p.m. on my water daily water intake. Oh, nice. Drink water. Become moist. Cheers. Thank you very much, Bumper. to 9 p.m. It's actually not very accurate because I drink other liquids during the day, so I'm actually over the amount of water I'm meant to be drinking. Lucky I'm not streaming. Why? <clears throat> and because I'm not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's um, probably what we're doing wrong with the streaming. Because that's what everyone does. What? Nothing. Everyone does, everyone always not does nothing on their streams. I'm and sitting here eating a banana muffin. Most of the time when I join someone's stream, they're not doing anything. What games do you watch? Uh, not many. <clears throat> the, the person who does the World of Warcraft ones, I found her stream because she was doing Fallout 4 and I watched the Fallout 4 stream for a while. Ah, oh, right. Because I'm just so liberal with handing out follows. <coughs> follow everyone. If I watch someone for a bit and they're got a, if they're a bit interesting, I just follow. 
then there's another guy who is always, every time I look at his stream, he's in a menu, not doing anything. He doesn't. And you followed him because of that? He doesn't. No, I think I followed him because he followed me. Because he doesn't play any games that I'm interested in. Modern Warfare. And Gran Turismo. <coughs> Oh, Dave was playing, um, zombie... Oh. What was that game? Project Zomboid. No, it was a third-person shooter about World War Two zombies. World War, uh... And zombies. <coughs> Something and zombies. World War Two and zombies. Uh, I'd have to look. You know. Amnesia zombies. <coughs> Amnesia World War Two. Oh, dude, it's not even on his thing. Zombie Army Trilogy. That's what he was playing. That sounds like a B-grade movie. Yep. It looks pretty fun. Ah, it looked pretty boring and repetitive. But it looked like something I could do. <laughs> <coughs> oh, I didn't um, put my videos here. Let's go to Video Producer. I spy with my little eyelets. You know, like I, but it's yeah. Islet. Your stream titles are always very creative. Look at me. Mine's called Materials Order. Nice. <laughs> no, that's what I usually do. Put the name of the quest that I'm going to do. I'm a little bit creative with my Go Live notifications. Where uh -huh. everyone else I see always has the same go live notification. Mine's different for every stream, like different for every game. Yeah. Mad Runner. Mad Runner is normally get some Mad in your undies. But today it was someone is stuck in the mud. Will you answer the call? Mud Runner or Snow Runner? Oh, whatever. Snow Runner. It's all, oh, it's right. a game about. Oh no! No, don't do it! Oh no! How do I fix this again? What did you do? I'm stuck! Oh! <laughs> oh yes! Whoa, what are you doing? You drove up into the trees! Yes, because the game, if I alt tab sometimes when I come back, <laughs> and then I can't remember how to fix it. You're just sitting there. Oh, I don't know how to fix this. My keyboard's not responsive. Press F4. Oh, what does F4 do? It's the only thing that works. Alt F4. <coughs> no, F4 to open the menu. Yeah, no. You can't bring up the F4 menu. What's the F4 menu? Oh, I've never used that before. No, it's my keyboard. Hang on, hang on, I, I remember. No, no, now it should work. Now yeah. try it. No, oh. it's not the game, it's the keyboard. Oh, just unplug it and plug it back in. Why is your keyboard doing that? That's still not working. Oh, dude, it's raining. Oh, fuck off game. What? It's just being an asshole. <coughs> <coughs> what? Are you stuck as well? I'm 
I'm stuck. You just ran. It's driving into a tree. Go change into reverse. Press two. Oh yeah, that might work. Did that work? Now press W. Right, Your hand brakes on. <clears throat> Right, so next time that happens, guys, remember to get out of it. We have to press the numpad and change gears. That'll fix me. the case of the runaway truck <laughs> that now has oh no, it's damage is fine 20% damage to the gearbox sorry you're about to pick up a free repair <coughs> I think this one it doesn't it doesn't belong to anyone either. I think it's yours. Mm -hmm. Like you don't have to deliver it anyway. But is there like a um, curtain side there? Uh, no, I think I took that somewhere. Oh, okay. I don't even know where this is. Where am I taking this to? <coughs> to, to the uh, to, almost to the exit of Smithfield Dam, back up where your truck is. Okay, because yeah. I am up about half a kilometer from the gateway. Are you just having a tea break in your truck? Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at the map. I'm playing. I'm playing that Commodore 64 <laughs> truck game. You're playing Snow Runner from the 1960s, 1980s. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, never remember what that game was called. I might be able to find it on that website that was... There's a Reddit... <coughs> there's a Reddit forum for games that you can't remember the name of. And you post down your description of it, and then people see it and then tell you what they think it was. That was the forum that I was reading when I was trying to remember the name of that traffic department game. Traffic Department 2099 or whatever it was. With Velasquez. Oh, and yeah. Irreverent Police. Chief. <coughs> it wasn't a truck racer. It was just a... It was... It was Commodore 64 Euro, uh, American Truck Simulator. That was exactly what the game was. American Truck Simulator on the Commodore 64. Mm. <coughs> well, I'm surprised that didn't damage the truck.
almost certainly is a gas guzzler. Took oh, oh, just <coughs> like thirty percent of the fuel tank just to go back and get this trailer. Oh. All that includes driving up into the trees and smashing into a tree and getting out of it. Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> what button turns the windscreen <coughs> wipers on? <sighs> Is there one? I don't think so. There was Alien in 1984 was released on Commodore 64. Is that a first person shooter? I don't think so. Of the attack of the mutant camels. Sounds just as good as some of the games you can get these days. Like Space Clowns. What was it? Clowns from Aetis Outer Space? Oh. Terrible game. Wow, Back to the Future was gaming in the future. They were actually making games that they do now of movies. Back to the Future got straight on that board. Mm. Straight on board that train. Choo choo. Oh no, Batman is here as well. Back to the Future 3 game. Batman got into the video games as well. Because then that joke would have made more sense. Oh, Beverly Hills Cop. Eagles. Bionic Commando was on um, Commodore 64. I didn't know that. Mm. I thought it was only on PC. Like uh, IBM. Oh, Ocean! Do you remember the development company Ocean? Um, the tag? Maybe. I don't know if they were the distributors or the actual devs. But was it Cool Spot? Uh, no, that was Interplay or something, wasn't it? Oh, was it? Board of the Rings. What? From from the far reaches of the west to the dwarvish caves of the east, the awesome power of the Great Ring was known. Board of the Rings. B O R E D. <laughs> well, they had a Commodore 64 game, Boulder Dash. Yeah, as you can tell, I'm only up to the bees. And you're repaired. Oh, look at that. Thank you. Okay. 
Wait, am I? Why does my fuel still say that it's empty? Oh, you need fuel? Green. Oops. No, no, why does my fuel say that it's still orange? I just repaired it. Did I not do it right? I said no, my tank is... Repair all. <coughs> maybe it's just because it's a low fuel, maybe? Wait, I want to go that way. Well, I'm bringing the fuel trailer up there now, so... No, I'm coming down there because I was coming to pick up the... trailer. I got down to Bug Blaster. Oh, do you remember Fly Swat? Oh, yeah. Well, oh. There was something wrong with that disc. We could never play it. Oh. Like after the initial enjoyment of it, then we could never get it to work again. What was that one where it was really violent? And when they died, they like shot themselves in the face. Bopping. Oh, that's right. Whoa, where are you going? Come back. I'm just going to refuel if that's alright. Sure. Me too. Okay, I'm good. Oh, it went white. Okay, good. I'm picking up this blue trailer. That's a big trailer. And it's a saddle high. Oh wait, it, I've got a saddle high on, is it? Oh, sorry. Oh, you need a saddle low. Why oh, does this thing have a maybe, saddle high? Maybe I've got a saddle low. Hang on, you can take this trailer. <coughs> Why does the white have a saddle high on it? I don't know. Uh, detached trailer. Please install appropriate saddle to use this trailer. There was a mission that was using the saddle high. Hey, we're in America, you know. Oh, sorry. I knew you were going to say <laughs> something like that. Well, you pulled to the correct side. I pulled over on the American side. Which is the right side. But um, <laughs> Did you winch the scout to? The trailer? The side this, of it. Is there? Oh, the side. Nah, it's not going to be right, is it? Oh, it is. Oh, nice. Yeah, this one's got a saddle high for some reason. Yeah, it must have been delivering one of those special trailers with it. Last. Yeah, that's right. Oh, you'll have to pick up the repair. You'll have to winch the repair. Oh, yeah. I'm winching the Scout 800. Roger that.
What about Moon Buggy? Do you remember playing oh, that at the in primary school? Yep. I getting a play. library. Getting yeah, a computer license. So old. Kids these days wouldn't understand. Do you have to get a computer license anymore? I don't think so. They have to have their own iPads in school. At a certain age. Wait, don't go. Give me some fuel. I don't have the fuel trailer. Just give me some fuel from your truck. I only need 70. I can't move. Well, am I too far away? No, I can't turn my car on. Yeah, you're too far. You'll it just you can refuel me. Now I can now you can refuel me. Just one click will be enough. Don't have to fill it. Just, oh, you what just happened? took fuel. You just took one my last liter of fuel. What is it doing? Oh, there. Right. Bye. Whoa. You just like vanished. Oh, Chopper Commando? <coughs> that was on the Amstrad, wasn't it? Actually, there was a couple of um, Chopper games. Oh wait, why has my fuel tanker been disconnected? Can you connect it? When it's invisible? Oh wait, that's... What is this trailer? Oh, did you bring that through? What does it come through when it's um, winched? It comes through. Oh, okay. So that's my trailer. The repair. Yeah. Yep. <coughs> Holy crap. That is a really long... I didn't take that turn wide enough. Sorry, street sign. <laughs> No, you have to apologise to the council worker looking at you from the other side of the road. I just put that back head. in. <laughs> so the metal beams are already there, ready to be delivered, is it? Where do we get consumables from? No, they're at the top of the mine because I had ran out of fuel. They're not down in the mine yet. <coughs> but I need to get two consumables for the preacher's house. 
Isn't the consum- house is just here. Where are the consumables? Isn't the consumables at, at the, the farm? farm? Pluto got a game on the Commodore 64. Very popular. Oh right, you got to the spot and ran out of fuel. I got to what spot? Anyone need? No. Okay. I'm at the mine. I'm at the quarry. Here, just check them as you go along. <laughs> the Chevrolet... The Chevrolet has the fuel for this truck. I just... You needed to be on the map, that's all. Because it wouldn't let me... <coughs> Ta-da! And we're good. Okay, now I'm in the Chevy. What happens once you've used up all the repair parts in this truck trailer? You can... Well, if it's a deliverable one, you can just go and deliver it. I'd probably leave 10% in there if you have to deliver that one. But you can take it to the center, see, in the center where it says resupply zone. Yep. Like near the bridge, it says resupply zone. You can go and refill it there. Uh. But there's a second service trailer down near before you go over the bridge. Yeah. <coughs> the, um the mission of, de of re delivering a repair trailer on this a service trailer on this map it's mm -hmm. that you can keep it and repair your trucks but there's so many opportunities for service trailers it's not really needed mm. like you get so many free repair stuff that you don't really need to do it Cribbage! Oh no, that's cribbage, not fibbage. Mm. Oh, Crystal Castles was on the Commodore 64, not Crystal Caves. What's the difference? Oh, just not the same game, right. I guess. The Crystal Caves in Subnautica. <laughs> no, the Crystal Caves on the 286. Freeware. Yeah, <coughs> time to stream that. Can do. It's pretty, be pretty boring though. Yeah, I saw someone speedrunning it. It definitely was. At least the game that I was playing today, like Islets, it mm -hmm. actually looks nice and it feels good. It'd be the same playing all these games as well. They're just clunky. I mean, that they'd be all right if you were kids because you're just exploring. But I think it's they're too old now. Like they're really old now, or I'm old. Probably you've experienced it. Don't need to go back. Been there, done that. There's some really I'm weird names. The new games. Whoa, Doctor Who got a disc, a tape. Double Dragon, Double Dragon was there. 
It's not really retro for the people who lived it. It's just old and crappy. It's only retro yeah. for the kids who never played it. And I can't really say that I was a Commodore 64 player, we just got it second hand. <coughs> Until we got a Super Nintendo. Yeah, that was our first, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. After about three Commodore 64s going missing in our house. Why did they go missing? Because someone kept taking them back to the shop. <laughs> then a new one would come in and we'd be like, Oh, let's get it! They'd probably be worth a mint now, too. If you had good condition ones. Flash Gordon. Flash. Whoa. Flash Gordon is a game of three parts. A section that is like a pitfall with guns, a hand-to-hand -hand combat section, and a jet bike pursuit. <laughs> oh, that sounds like battle tanks. Oh. out fence I'm coming for you no you're fine Friday the 13th the computer game wow Frogger 64 Frogger 64 um, a pop, yeah, for so Commodore like 64. 64. No, for Commodore 64. There was a 64 before the 64. <laughs> a, a port of the classic Frogger arcade game. This was actually 64 bit, whereas the Nintendo 64 was 64 megabit. They knew what they were doing. <clears throat> oh, it was just higher capacity bits instead of just your normal bits instead of like the small bits yeah but I reckon Nintendo knew what they were doing when they called it the Nintendo 64 oh to play on nostalgia mm. not for the older generation yeah because I didn't get it until just now I was today old when I realised that Gandalf the Sorcerer. <laughs> I wonder if they had to pay rights for that. Oh, Gauntlet was on Commodore 64. We never had it. We never played that on uh, Commodore 64. We hardly ever had a Commodore 64. Oh, Gauntlet 2. Get off my garden. Uh, take control of General Agricultural Robot Functionary, or GARF for short, and grow the flowers in your garden. <laughs> Ghostbusters was there. I'm down to G now. Chat. I'm not to G. Ghosts and Goblins. Goals and Ghosts. Ghosts and Goblins. Goals and Ghosts. This thing doing. No ranger.
Oi. Whoa, so much Grand Prix here. Grand Slam. Grand Chess. Oh, I knew Chess had to be coming soon. <laughs> Red runner, no. Mm. Huh? What are you doing, you nincompoop? Ah! This winch is not. What is it doing? Why am I stuck here? Where are you? <laughs> How are you stuck there? I know. And then if I try to winch it, it's trying to tip my truck over. Because it won't D pull Detach me your trailer? Detach your trailer. So hmm. Having the trailer on sometimes screws off your truck. Whoa, there was a game called Hero Quest on the Commodore 64. Hero Quest. In the age of your... Yeah, Hero Quest has been around for ages. Yeah. It's a, it's a board game, isn't it? Like a... Yep. Role-playing game. Pretty fun board game. I enjoyed it. <coughs> I enjoyed it. I've got it on Tabletop Simulator. We should play it. Alright. Oh, Ooh. Hook. Again, Ocean. Did Hook. They must have had the rights to do all the movie ports. Yeah. Well, the movie companies probably were like, oh, that's a game, that's a producer who does games. So they all just yeah. went to the one producer. Howard the Duck is here. Oh, but that was done by a software house, Activision. 1986. Activision in 1986 did Howard the Duck. Fucking hell. So old. <gasps> I can't find this truck game. Maybe Euro Trucks has tried to delete every reference of it on the internet so that they have they're the first ones. I'm not down to T yet, it could be at T. Indiana Jones in the Temple of Doom, who's that made by? Oh not US Gold. US Gold did Temple of Doom the last crusade. Alright, let's get this truck down the hill. Let's see what shenanigans this one can get up to, if you're having trouble with that. <coughs> this is ridiculous. I shouldn't even be stuck here. Did you try dropping the trailer? Yep, I have now. Oh shit. I'm stuck. Now it won't even let me winch on these logs that are on the ground. What the hell is going on here? Oh yeah, so the trailer won't move, but it will let me pull it over if I'm winching on it.
<coughs> Did you fix it? So stupid. Is that a yes or a no? No, now the track now the trailer is bed deep in mud. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like I can't see where did you Aren't you like right out front of the place where you load it? I'm in the farm, yeah. The loading area in the farm is mud. No, but that was Do you need to bring ridiculous. it? Do you need to bring another truck there? I'm just gonna yank it out by its ass. Nice! Brute force it. Oh, watch out, fancy your life is in danger. Poor farmer. That's right, I didn't kill it. It's fine. You can't run over the fences in Zomboid. They'll total your car before it <laughs> breaks. I just discovered it. Oh, you just discovered a new trailer. There's a there's a ramped flatbed here with two saber containers on it. With two what? Saber containers. What's a saber container? Oh, saber. All oh, right. Well, they they yeah. Saber computer game company. What's inside it? Oh, Can't tell. I shouldn't have checked that because now it's from, now I'm stuck on an invisible thing again. Oh. J.R.R. Tolkien's War on Middle Earth, 1989, and the software house was Melbourne House. Wow, that's, that's, what did they do recently? Don't they produce games or they produce games? Yeah, didn't they do... Who made... Me. Yeah. The thing that I couldn't find the sound file for. <coughs> that would be such a good sound file. When I'm nearly dead. Oh, they were called, they weren't Melbourne House, they were Chrome Studios Melbourne, Beam Software, KKND, KKND Crossfire, Death Cars, hmm. Melbourne, Melbourne House, House. Sure here we go, Melbourne it. House. Oh, now known as Chrome Studios, they were, Melbourne House Company, Beam Software. Chrome Studios Melbourne, originally Beam Software, was an Australian video game development company. A studio founded in 1980, um, who changed the name to Infogrames Melbourne House Pty Limited. Um, they were based in Melbourne, initially formed to produce books and software to be published by Melbourne House, a company they had established in London in 1977. 
The studio operated independently from 87 to 99 when it was acquired by Infogrames, who changed the name to Infogrames Melbourne House Pty Limited. In 2006, the studio was sold to Chrome Studio. The name Beam was a contraction of the names of the founders Naomi Bezin and Alfred Milgram. They were Melbourne House from 97 to 99. Uh, the home computer, they made a game called The Hobbit. They did a martial arts game, The Way of the Exploding Fist. They did fighting games in 88 called Samurai Warrior and Fist Plus. Then they published stuff under the Firebird label which saw the release of Shoot 'em Up Bedlam. Uh, the Muncher and Gremlin graphics. They shifted to consoles and PCs in 87. Uh, Nintendo gave Beam a license. Uh, they released a game called Aussie Rules Football. Uh, international Cricket. Uh. They re released a original title, Nightshade, which served as a basis for Shadowrun. It did wasn't it was a dark superhero comedy game. <coughs> um, Ninety seven Beam relaunched Melbourne House, which then made KKND and KKND two Crossfire. Oh, they released KKND2 in South Korea well before they released it in America. Oh, was it, was it well received there? Oops. No, I'm not sure, I guess so. North by Northwest, The Return of Lost Vikings on the Sega Saturn, PS, PlayStation, and PC. Oh, that's an awesome name. Um, WCW Super Brawl Wrestling and Super Smash TV on the SNES. Super International Cricket again, they got that again. Bug, they got a game called Bug. Um, in 98... <laughs> You're not still at the farm, are you? Clip that! Clip that! That was an awesome one! <laughs> Where the hell are you? Oh my goodness. <laughs> you better clip that. <laughs> what's the, what's oh, the time of your stream? 50. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was an insane rollover. <laughs> Um, they can, in the 2000s, they continued to cement their reputation as a racing game dev. Um, they did Le Mans 24 Hours, Looney Tunes, Space Race, uh, Grand Prix Challenge, Men in Black 2. In 2004, they did Transformers for the PS2, Transformers and Marta. Oh, didn't we have a Transformers, or was that only a demo? Uh... <coughs> test Drive... Uh, Chrome Studios acquired Melbourne House from Atari and was renamed Chrome Studios Melbourne. It closed in 2010 along with its main Brisbane office. Oh, it's gone. They closed. Jack the Nipper is a game. Did you bring a truck down from the top to fix it? Yeah. Oh, I'm you are now. <coughs> Jet Set Willy. That was insane. 
I started breaking so early. What tip do you? What uh, load have you got? Going too fast. Oh, now I need the freaking crane. Mm -hmm. Is it How down the hill? I'm gonna do this. Is it down the hill? I have to go look at your stream. I know, pull, pull, t to pull the front. Of the truck? Yeah, so winch to the front. I'm gonna detach the trailer. Oh yeah. Well, oh, it's gonna roll down the hill. You better winch it first. Maybe I should come there. I'll detach the trailer. I already detached the trailer. Huh? I already detached the trailer. Oh, right, okay. So what you might find is you it's probably better if you drive up the hill. Yeah, it's going to draw you down the hill. No, instead of pulling the winch, like I said the other day, you need to drive, just reverse. Don't use the winch. The winch is not powerful enough. But you might have to turn around and just drive straight up the hill to flip it. Isn't reversing more powerful than driving forwards? Like, isn't your reverse gear stronger at pulling stuff? Or am I just wrong? <gasps> no, I think oh, you're dude, forward don't gear. Do that. Oh. <clears throat> your forward gear would be stronger because it can it, it you can vary it. Like you can vary your forward gears. You can't vary your reverse gear. Just try pulling the center then. And then winch? Mm -hmm. Now try pulling the front. Why is the trailer moving on the left? Because the, it's the snow runner. If you think about it, if if the game is obeying proper physics, look at how the truck is sitting. Look where the heavy part of the truck is and where it's trying to roll to. You've got to try and um, get to a point that is going to change the gravity. And at the moment, everything mm -hmm. that's presented, everything that's presented to you there is so top heavy. I'm going to come down on your right and I'm going to try and push it while you pull it. If I can fit through there. Oh look, there's a rock on the road! Where? Nice big dirty rock, we're probably where you flipped. Look at it. Underneath you, the red trailer. <laughs> Where did that come from?
<coughs> okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Go. Well, you can probably oh. pull it over from your angle there. Oh, okay. Well, I'll give me a go. Oh yeah, yeah, oh. Can you get into it now? Oh, it's flipped. Yay! Maybe. Aren't you better just, aren't you, are you trying to take it up the hill or down the hill? Down the hill. Oh, you were going down the hill and you probably hit that rock and went flying. <laughs> have to rewatch it and see if it was the rock. Oh, this is probably going a bit too fast. <coughs> Actually, I need to flip it first, don't I? No, no, stay there, stay there, I'll flip it. Where's my mouse? One of them stayed on. <laughs> oh my goodness. Snow runner everyone. It's pretty fun. <laughs> good? Yep. Thank See, you. How good is that? How Rescue good was service. that? It's like teamwork. Good teamwork. Slow. Slow. 50 k's an hour. 50 40. k's an hour, that's fast. Um, thousand viewers that I get just missed out on that. Oh, well, they'll catch the VOD. <clears throat> you have been promoted. You reached rank 13. Ooh. Contract completed. Materials Holy order. Crap. There's a lot of people around here that owe you a real debt of gratitude for the work you're doing. Keep it up. Five grand. 
That's a lot of money, yeah. Mmm, the moolah. I deserve it after that roll over down that hill. I guess it, the roll over wasn't part of the job. Alright guys, that's all we've got time for today. We did one mission. All that prep. Thanks for watching all that prep work. And seeing, the, seeing me deliver two boxes. Thank you very much. Worse. If you enjoyed it. Oh, I also um, delivered the... Um, metal beams. The metal beams, yeah. And then last week we delivered the other part of it, whatever it was. Thank you very much for joining me, Bum Fluff. No Thanks worries, thank you for having me. joining the chat, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Bye.